Oh, there she is. Oh, ma'am. Thanks for all your help. Where's Dev? I left him at home. Hey, Bernie, Bernie, come and join your soon-to-be favourite son-in-law for a drinking game. Aye. Hey. Yeah, I will in a minute. What's going on? Something. Can you just give me a sec, please? Yeah, sure. Where have you been? Sorry, love. I, I got tied up with something. Listen, I need to have a word with you. I'm so sorry, son. I can't believe it. What happened? I'm not sure. So we told you? Well, the police called me in to help with their inquiries. You're not in any trouble, are you? They know all about Shelley's scam and my name came up, but they've got nothing on me. Is she really gone? I don't believe it. She's a terrible shock. I think we should get home. Yeah. I want to be close to her. Would it be weird if we went to a flat? I can't believe she's gone. It's too soon. I know. Some mate I am. I knew she weren't well. <sighs> Why don't I keep an eye on her? You wouldn't know that it'd turn out to be so serious. I left the loads of messages and she never got back to me. I should have known then that something wasn't right. This isn't your fault. You've had a lot on. Yeah. Out having a laugh while she was losing the fight. <sighs> Come on. She was always there for me. Always. It's a pity I didn't return the favour. You need to stop torturing yourself. It's the last thing Shelley would have wanted. <sighs> I didn't even get to say goodbye. Oh, sorry, we, um... Let ourselves in. Um, Shelly gave me mama a key. This is Jim, one of Shelly's PAs. Pleased to meet you. It's Billy, my fiance. It's probably, probably should have asked, rather than just turning up, so apologies if we've overstepped. I just wanted to spend some time here. Don't worry, I get it. I needed to be close to her. She really got me, did Shelly? <laughs> Conversations we had in this flat. I could totally be myself. Tell her anything. She never flinched or changed the subject. And the mad thing is, we laughed about everything. She changed how I see things. She was like a light shining through the darkness. <laughs> She'd crack up if you heard me saying that. Tell me to stop being so up myself. She didn't mince her words, that's for sure. I don't know what I'm going to do without her. What am I going to do? You've got us. We will be by your side. I hope she wasn't on her own at the end. Was she? On her own? <sighs> Look, it was very quick. No one saw it coming. You know, she had a cold. Yeah. The last time I saw her, she seemed fine. It just must have got dramatically worse overnight. The doctors said it had turned into a pneumonia. Yeah, she, um, she made any funeral plans? She's got no family. 
Uh, except a, a brother that... Yeah, she told me all about him. They don't get on. Yep. The last thing I recall her saying was that she wanted a gospel choir. She wanted to come down the aisle to summer uplifting. Feet first. I don't know if she'd written anything down. We hadn't got to it. You always feel like you've got more time. I'm gonna do it. The funeral. If anyone knows what she'd want, it's me. I'm gonna sort the whole thing. That's very kind of you. But, you know, your, your own health is declining. You shouldn't be taking too much on. I mean, you've, you've had a terrible shock. You need to be taking care of yourself. It's fine. Leave it with me, eh? I'll make sure Shelley gets the send-off she deserves. <laughs>